Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, yeah, so my cousin said something interesting when I was talking to her, and I was able to ask her a question that I kind of always wanted to ask somebody who knew me when I was younger. Um, ow, I asked her... Because I see, like, my niece and my nephew, and I see kids all the time. And, like, happy kids, they're just, like, talking, and they're just, like, blah, 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 and they're just singing and yelling. And I'm, like, I was a happy kid. Was I ever like that? Um, the thing is, don't have any home videos of me as a kid. We never had a camera. Oh, the funny thing is, we had a camera for my oldest brother. My grandma bought a camera for my oldest brother. And then I guess the camera broke and they're just like, oh, we got enough videos of the kids. By the time I came around, um, they didn't have a camera anymore. So <laughs> I don't have any videos of me. I just have pictures. Um, there may be videos of me as like a baby, but that's not what I mean. I mean like a four or five year old, six year old, seven year old kid. What was I like? Did I like, like if you caught me in the wild, was I like jumping around and yelling and talking all the time? And my cousin told me like, yeah. I actually, and it was nice I was able to ask her that question because it's a w kind of a weird question to ask. And it does reveal a lot about my personality that like, it was a good way to connect with her to be like, this is hard. I hope I could beat this. Oh, nice. Um, yes, that's what I wanted. Get Pikachu up to like level 18 and then I think I can beat this. Oh, do I want that? I don't know. Double team. What does it do exactly? Blueberry copies of itself to raise evasiveness. I don't know. I don't care about that. No, get rid of it. Yep. She used the word outgoing for me. She's like, when you were younger, you were very happy and outgoing. I was like, what? Outgoing? I've never thought about that at all. And she was using it in relation to my brother. She's like, oh, you were always, like, following your brother and talking to him and, like, yelling at him. And I was like, that makes sense. And, um... So, yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I was a happy kid. My parents were good parents. They made a good, like, home for me. So, like, I was happy. I had food and video games and, um... I was happy and so happy kids they don't really have social anxiety they're just like normal and they're just like oh blah 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 like if they have a thought they talk about it and they have good parents so their parents are like oh anthony that's interesting what you just said blah blah blah, blah, blah. um and i didn't really get social anxiety until middle school age Um, when I was kind of out more on my own and all that stuff. Uh, how much money do I lose? I should just spend all my money and then you can't lose it. If you spend it, that's called the inflation principle. What does magnitude do? I, guess? I forget. Ugh. Jerome Powell doesn't like that. Don't tell Jerome Powell I said that. You're not supposed to spend your money during inflation. Uh, because that makes it worse. Uh, whatever, I don't care about you. Oh, bubble doesn't do anything. Blip, 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 blip. I wanna see how much money I lose.
Um, I'm outgoing, she said. And I even was able to tell her this, which is like a pretty vulnerable thing to say. Um, I said, I think the reason why I can be like unhappy with myself now and I have anxiety now is because I feel like that's who I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be that outgoing like kid who's like making jokes and talking and like messing with his brother. $200, that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna spend my money. For sure, 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 sure. Bloop, 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 bloop. That reminded me <laughs> when I was, this game came out, Pokemon Red came out when I was five. I have a memory of playing it on the bus when I was five years old. Uh, or like a friend did, and he was like, he was at the Pokemon Center, and it did that little thing. Boop, 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 boop. And, and he's like, poop, poop, poopy pee. I was like, that's that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> you're, you're a comedic genius. <laughs> uh, how much money do I have? Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Where's my money? Ooh, I got a lot of money, so I should spend it. Maybe I should try to use items when I'm fighting this lady. Uh, hmm. What should I get? Definitely need Pokeballs. Oops. I'm gonna buy 10. I don't want to get great balls. Um, okay, let's buy a super potions. Ooh, that was a lot of money. Okay. And escape rope. I want an escape rope. Okay, now try to take my money. Cool. Yeah, that was the thing of like, I think that's why I could be stressed and anxious or just like feel like ah, I'm wasting my life because like some people who are like me, they don't feel that way. They're like, I'm fine. I just want to be by myself all the time and I don't care. But there's an anxiety in me that's like, that's not who you're supposed to be though. You're supposed to be connecting with people and like being goofy and, and having fun with people like you were when you were a kid and like you were playing with your brother that's who I'm supposed to be part of me feels that way um yeah oh he's dead oh he's dead Oh, interesting. I just saw this guy walk past twice. Because he's walking around the circle. That's interesting. Um, am I done? 46. I have three minutes. That kind of reminded me. I, have I mentioned this before? When I was uh, in school, probably. It's a fun anxiety story. Um, before I could drive, like, school would end, and I'd have to wait for my mom to pick me up, and she would, she, her school, like, didn't end for, like, half an hour, so I'd have to kind of wait for her, and I remember, like, I didn't, I didn't like standing and waiting, because then, like, people could talk to you and stuff. Oh! Killed me already. So what I would do is I would just walk around the school like five times. Um, because it's like, oh, I'm going somewhere. Like, don't talk to me. I'm walking somewhere. But it's like, I'm not walking anywhere. <laughs> 
and then the fun anxiety part of that was like someone noticed like hey did you just walk around here twice like what are you doing i was like okay i'm never doing that again <laughs> so then i feel like oh no what i did used to, then I, then what i did was like i would um i would change change up my patterns like i wouldn't just walk in a circle i'd walk outside once and then i kind of like go inside and then walk around the halls inside and then I would come out and then I'd like walk the other way around. So I'd be like, okay, if someone's out there and they're watching, they'd be like, oh, he just went in somewhere and no, no, he's leaving the other way. He's not just walking in circles. <laughs> uh, ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. I kind of wanted to talk about, I'll, I'll save that for tomorrow. Okay, one more weird thing. Oh, I actually mentioned, I told my cousin, so last week I mentioned that I had an opportunity to see her in Washington DC in 2018 for my Owl City concert, and I didn't. And I felt like she was kind of hurt by that. Um, so I actually, like I brought that up this past weekend, which is good super good like I was thinking about it and it was on my mind and I was like I felt bad about it so I told her um it, it's it's just good like I, it's so weird because I've never had an opportunity to just like sit with somebody for three days and so it's like you do just become comfortable just like saying anything and I did just like we were just sitting there on like the third day or something and we were talking a little bit and I was like oh yeah like I was I I kind of felt bad about that time that I went to Washington DC and we I never I didn't come to see you and obviously she was like oh like I don't care about that like I, I just like wanted if you wanted to come see me like you could totally see me and it would be fine um, So that was all good, but like, she remembered. She remembered that I didn't come see her, so. That was bad that I didn't do that. But she's a good person. So she's like, oh, don't worry about it. But I, th I think I did hurt her a little bit when I didn't see her. She wouldn't tell me that because she doesn't want me to feel bad about it. Um, oh no. So maybe I should uh, just level up, just try to level up a little bit tomorrow, because this is not really a good way to level up. If you're not really working for me, there's a little patch of grass to the west where I can level up. I get Pikachu to like level 18 or 19, and then I'll fight him again. Um. Yeah, I'm glad to have an experience like that where I could just be like honest, like I felt bad. I mean, I didn't get as deep as I wanted to because what I would have said is like, I didn't go to see you because of my anxiety and like I didn't, wasn't capable of it and like it wasn't your fault, but it's like, I wish I could have seen you, but I couldn't, and I would have just made the trip worse because of me. But like now, I can do stuff like that, which is what I'm doing now. Like I'm seeing you, and like I probably wouldn't have done that before. Um, I don't know, I probably would have said all that, but mostly what I just said is like, oh, I felt bad that I didn't come to see you that one time she's like oh yeah don't worry about it I was like eh, I just feel bad and she's like oh that's fine <laughs> and then that was it <laughs> but that's more than nothing it's definitely more than nothing okay let's see how much experience I get when I kill this bird 
Ooh. Not that much, I bet. Quick attack. Alright. Tomorrow's just gonna be a training day. The training day. <laughs> okay, uh, see you tomorrow.